Hey friends, today I'm hanging out at the Magic Kingdom. Spring break has officially kicked off and I wanted to come out and enjoy the park before it gets super busy. Next weekend there are no available reservations and I'm not sure when I'd be able to come back to the Magic Kingdom. So today's the day. Let's go do this. One thing I learned is if the central hub area is crowded, then it is a busy day in the park because there is twice as many people waiting in lines for attractions. So we're just going to go walk around, ride some rides, eat some food, and just enjoy the Magic Kingdom. And it's really nifty because a PhotoPass photographer is doing a magic trick. Look at this fancy guy. Hello. Oh, sorry, I'm excited. I'm watching you do all these tricks. Yeah, yeah, I'm like, okay, wait a no, second. Okay, no, this is the deal. This is what happened. Okay, like, oh, I love this guy. Okay. What kind do you like? The uh, one on the left. The one on the left. Yep. That okay. one. That one? That's the one. Okay. That's four. W7J9. W7J9. Fancy. Look at that. That was so good. Magic. That was really awesome. I love seeing things like that happen. It makes it a little bit more magical here in the Magic Kingdom. I think I'm going to head straight into Tomorrowland because it looks like the People Mover is running. And I just like looking at it actually go about, even if it's just a test run. Oh, look, right there. Not only do I want to just watch the People Mover test, but I've been having this craving to ride Astro Orbiter. Have you ever had a craving to ride something? Like normally you have a craving to eat something, but I don't know, for a while I've just been like having this feeling of like wanting to ride the Astro Orbiter and look at the castle and feel the wind and the noise. I think that's a good idea. Maybe we'll go in line for that. Take a look at the line for Buzz Lightyear though. This is the longest I've ever seen it. It's stretching all the way back to Monsters, Inc. and then looping around and then it's gonna go on the other side. I bet you you're looking at probably over an hour wait at this point. I can't wait to get up here and take a look and see. 60 minutes exact for Buzz Lightyear Space Ranger spin. That is a long wait, holy moly. And look, there's the people mover coming in the station. Not moving any people at the moment. It also looks like a super long wait for Astro Orbiter, but I'm committed. I'm already in it. I'm not even sure where the entrance of the queue is. Like this is really blown out here. There is no wait time like sign for the Astro Orbiter, but the cast member told me it's about an hour. So like I said, I'm committed. I want to feel the air through my hair and listen to all the cool rocket sounds. So we're going to wait. We're in it. As we just sit and wait in line, we can just keep on seeing the people mover go by. Thank you. Time to go up. I got the whole elevator to myself. Two, please. I don't know if I have to hit the button. I don't have to hit the button. Thank you. Honestly, one of the best things about riding Astro Orbiter is to see all the amazing views of the Magic Kingdom from up here. It's like, it's amazing. Look how beautiful it is from up here. You get a good look at the contemporary, and then we're gonna come over here. This is Main Street. You can see the scrim from the train station. And wait till you see like Tomorrowland and Cinderella Castle. This is what I was talking about. Look at this. Beautiful, right? You just get a good look down there. See all the happy people enjoying their day in the park. I love it. But now we need to board our rocket ship. Lift off, blast off. Oh boy, we're going up. <laughs> oh, oh, there we go. Look at this. It's in flight, afternoon delight, oh. oh, this is so great. I love it. Oh boy, we're coming in hot, coming in hot. Oh, oh. Thank you. 
That was so much fun. And then take a look on the other side of Tomorrowland. We get to see a little bit of Tron. Some more people movers actually running. You see that right next to Space Mountain? This is such a beautiful view. As we wait to actually get in the elevator to go back down, this is a great spot to get a picture with Cinderella Castle. Look at it in the background. A lot of people might say, well, was that worth an hour wait? Inside the elevator, you can see they have a certificate of operation and the address for the Astro Orbiter is 1225 Monorail Way. How cool is that? Now I think I'm gonna move along out of Tomorrowland and head into Fantasyland. I need to get something to eat, a little snacky poo maybe. We'll stop at Gaston's Tavern. I've been wanting to eat there. I've never had the cinnamon roll or the fused brew. So I figured today would be a great day to mark that off my bucket list. On my way there though, I couldn't help to notice the line for Winnie the Pooh is going all the way back to the castle almost. This is insane, wow. Like, it's only gonna get busier the next couple days. On the app, Gaston Tavern is marked open from 9 a.m. to 6.30 p.m., but I don't see a mobile ordering option, so I'm guessing maybe it's just uh, order at the, the uh, cash register. We'll see when we get there. Looks like it's 70-minute wait for the Seven Doors Mine Train, which is probably the most popular attraction at the Magic Kingdom. So an hour and 10 minutes. We just waited an hour for Astro Orbiter. <laughs> As I'm walking into the Beauty and the Beast area, I see a sign, and I'm hoping that's not the line to get into Gaston's. It might be, though. Oh, boy. Unless that's for, is that for the Little Mermaid? Is that for the Little Mermaid? For the mine train. Oh, some, oh the mine train. Oh. Oh, okay. Thanks. <laughs> I was really confused. <laughs> Holy moly. So that means the mine train is wrapped around the mine train. I've never seen it that long. That is not 70 minutes. That is much longer than 70 minutes. There's no line for Gaston, so that makes me happy. Looks like there's no mobile ordering. You just order and you walk in. But that's okay, because this place is themed so amazing. I love it. Looks like you can get the warm cinnamon roll, or you can get the gray stuff. Try the gray stuff, it's delicious. Don't believe us? Ask the dishes. Oh. Look at her make that LeFuse brew back there. Oop. A little bit of dull whip. What is that cream you put on top there? Uh, no, it's mango foam. You don't want it? Mango foam? Yeah. I think I might want it. Uh, no. <laughs> well, I think I uh, bit off a little bit too much here. I wanted to get the cinnamon roll because everybody always says, get the cinnamon roll and it is massive. But then, you cannot not get the gray stuff. It's delicious. So, I got the gray stuff as well. And then the LaFuse brew right here. This is a lot, a lot of sweets here. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to eat it all, but Magic Kingdom is almost turning into Epcot here. I don't know where to eat. I guess we might as well pull up a garbage can. I think I might as well dive into the cinnamon roll first because that's like the thing I've heard the most about. I've had the gray stuff before uh, in Be Our Guest because they serve that exact gray stuff from Be Our Guest. And uh, everyone always says, try the cinnamon roll. So they don't say it's delicious. I mean, they do, but you know, you know what I'm saying. So I'm gonna try this. Oh yeah, look at that. Very flaky, very good. Look at the inside of that delicious cinnamon roll. Oh, much too good for children. Much too good. Now we're gonna move along to the LaFouze brew, and I like it, it's very delicious. I think I like butterbeer better, but you guys let me know in the comments, are you like team LaFouze brew or team butterbeer? Because butterbeer, butterbeer is good. You can have it three different ways, hot, cold, or frozen, and I like them every single way. But I do enjoy this too, but I would definitely be team butterbeer. Now we're gonna move along to the gray stuff though, and I have a crazy idea. Kind of like crazy old Maurice. We're gonna take a little bit of the gray stuff, and then a little bit of the cinnamon roll, and we're gonna mix it together and see how this tastes.
sweetness overload that is an amazing combination i highly suggest trying it and if you just want like the gray stuff on its own we're gonna dive into the cupcake it looks like there's chocolate under there i don't know i don't like the way they have these new cupcake liners so we're gonna try to do this like delicately there we go we got it all unwrapped it is a chocolate cupcake at the end there so we're gonna dive into this oh that is so good if i had to choose one or the other i know everyone says the cinnamon roll but i have to say try the gray stuff it's delicious <laughs> that was all just too good holy moly i love it all but the gray stuff like i said was way better and uh yeah now i think we're gonna move along maybe ride another ride and uh hang out maybe in Frontierland. i do like it over there haunted mansion is set for 25 minutes but this is looking way more busier than i've ever seen it before like this is insane, these crowds right here. As we make our way through Frontierland, I'm trying to decide whether I go ride Splash Mountain or Big Thunder Mountain. Either way, they're probably gonna be very long wait times. So I think we're gonna have to scope out the situation. I think, holy moly, I think this is a line right here. There's a line already out here. That might be for Splash, I'm not sure yet. Wowza! That is the line for Splash Mountain. Look, they got a little tiny sign right here. I have never seen it like this because Splash Mountain has one of the, like, the longest queues. Like, there's enough room back there to fit a lot of people in. So the wait time for this must be at least over 60 minutes. There's no way it couldn't be under. 70 minutes! Wow! So... 70 minutes for Splash Mountain. I knew it. I honestly think we might just head over to Big Thunder Mountain. Looks like it's only a 40 minute wait for that attraction. It's definitely just about 40 minutes. And look at Splash Mountain from here. That is beautiful, isn't it? We're coming up on the worst place to be waiting in line in all of the Walt Disney World queues. Use both sides. I think this is so anxiety bound. Oh, I have a tough time. Oh, we're going to the right. Going to the right. Use both sides. The reason I say it's the worst place to be standing in line is because it's so tight and it gets so hot. I feel like my glasses are steaming up already. But we're moving. Getting some air. <laughs> Looks like they also added all the plexiglass, so they're loading the cars full, like 100%. No spaces in between anymore. They're getting everybody in there. Here comes the I Am Fearless. All aboard. Here we go. that shadow there's my hat <laughs> Oh, 
That was pretty wild. Dare I say, maybe even the wildest? But as you can see, the lines are super long and that's with 100% full vehicles. So like Big Thunder Mountain had every single seat taken in the train. Like there was no spaces in between. Prior to uh, just like just a couple of like weeks and months ago, they were still socially separating and like putting like skipping rows. Now the lines are long and they're filling at 100%. So it's like a whole nother game when it comes to wait times. One thing to point out that I think is really, really cool is sometimes when you're walking past the Country Bear Jamboree, you might see Liver Lips McGraw or Big Al up there and they're saying hi and telling people to come in because the show is about to start. And once the show does start, they go inside because obviously they can't be performing if they're out here. Isn't that amazing? I absolutely was mind blown by that. And there he is, Big Al, you're the man. <laughs> he is the man. Big L is the man. As you can see, it says six minutes until the next show. And in six minutes, they're going to go inside. Thought I would just share that with you because I think it's just an amazing little bit of detail. Detail that I love Disney about. Now I think I'm going to make my way back out to the hub in Main Street, USA. Oop, I see Mickey on the cavalcades coming down Main Street right now. We're not gonna catch him though, he's pretty far away. But I've never noticed this bridge right here. Wow, that's pretty amazing right here. I've never noticed this. So I wonder if you go under that, if you're actually in the Utilidors. If the line isn't too long, I think I'm gonna swing into Starbucks and grab a coffee. Oh, it's not looking too bad though. Not too bad of a line. Just a little bit, it looks like. Plus, we get to get out of the heat and come in where it's nice and ac and cool. But sometimes I think, like, what if Dunkin' Donuts were put in all the Disney parks? I mean, I love Starbucks, but can you imagine if, like, this was a Dunkin' Donuts location? I don't think they would be able to theme as well. The Main Street Bakery, now serving Dunkin'. This poor chain has definitely seen better days. It's no longer even available to lock properly. It looks like it's bent, maybe from people sitting on it or pushing down. I think I might go with the iced brown sugar oatmeal shake and espresso, only because there are six separated boards in the title of that drink. They have new plexiglasses here at Starbucks too, and they have a speaker so you can communicate better. Unfortunately, we're out of oat milk. Oh, no way. I'll just take regular cream. Is that okay? Yeah. There it is, Nate Yayabus. <laughs> now I found a little quiet spot to come sit back and drink my coffee. Got a little bench here. Oh, nice. It's very nice back here. It's so amazing over here. Look at this. Nobody's back here. It smells amazing. I think it might be right underneath the smellizer because all I smell is cotton candy. If you're quiet enough, you might be able to hear the uh, private lessons happening above us. But I'm excited to try this, a new uh, coffee I've never had before. I don't like it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Should have just stuck to what I really like. This is, uh, I don't know. Like, I like my coffee not too sweet, and this isn't sweet at all. It just has a weird taste to it. I'll finish it. It's coffee. It'll do the trick. I think since we're back here, we might as well hop into the Crystal Arts. I haven't been in here for a while and they always have amazing things. You can actually watch them blow glass in here, see some Cinderella glass slippers for sale and even some personalized items. And it's just very fancy. Look at all the amazing things they make. I think it is so cool. And then like I said, a little bit of Cinderella slippers. And then look at that castle right here. That is amazing, isn't it? Glorious, I say. 
a Cinderella castle like that will only set you back $49,900. Just shy under $50,000. And like I said, you can get some customized wood uh, carvings here. Look at this, some pens, some name plates. In a moment of hesitation, I realized I left my phone here. Holy moly. That's craziness. I was just walking around inside the Crystal Arts building and I went to go grab my phone and I was like, oh, and I ran back. It was over there for like a good three minutes. Looks like I'm just in time for a cavalcade. That gets me happy. definitely has got the moves. I think we should switch it to the I got the moves like Tigger instead of Jagger. And with that cavalcade, I think I am uh, done for today. I had so much fun just hanging out here and having a Magic Kingdom day. Who knows when I'll be back again. Maybe I might be able to just grab a uh, reservation during you know the spring break week itself. I mean, sometimes they do change, like people will cancel and then they'll go back out and be available for other annual pass holders to get. And uh, I always check, I always go in and out of the app. Kind of like how you used to do it with your Fast Pass. You know how you used to be able to go in and out? I do that for dining reservations and park reservations now. How funny. <laughs> But, like I said, I think that's going to do it for me. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. We will see you next time. Bye!